I've tried to point out that very often people are too eager to ascribe um, problems to specifics of modern life when they are actually more deeply embedded than that. They're human problems or they're problems that predated uh, modern life. Now, they're the second to last story in this book is the children of God and a little prince named Davidito. And that is something that is peculiar to modern life um, because it involves the children of God group, which in the, you know, came out of the 1960s, 1970s free love movement combined with the Jesus movement. And it actually led to a period in which the group okayed sex between adults and children. Now, the Family International is how they're known today, and they very strongly oppose and reject any sexual abuse of children, okay? It's kind of like with the Mormon church and polygamy, okay? They, they don't do it anymore, but they did do it for a period, and that period led to a terrible tragedy because um, the little prince whose name was Davidito was, um, he was sexually abused as a child. His nannies, under the instruction of their superiors, his, mo his mother and um, Moses Berg, the leader of the group, uh, instructed them to perform oral sex on a very small pre-kindergarten child. And, it was, and uh, they thought that he would become a great religious leader. He didn't. He became a man um, who had a lot of deep depressions, who had a lot of psychological problems, and he was, became obsessed with the idea of revenge against those who had abused him. And so the thing ended very badly. He actually murdered one of the nannies who had performed sex on him when he was a child. And then he um, murdered himself. He committed suicide. And it is an interesting story. And it does show how badly things can misfire. Um, you know, it was a when you um, take free love to such an extent that you apply it to children. Then it causes real, real problems. It causes horror. And it caused horror. And the um, Children of God and the story of Davidito is an example of the horror that it caused. And you can find it in my book, The Bloodies and the Broken.